Hey class, it's me, Teacher Gan, and I am here to help you understand our lesson today. Let's begin. In life, we deal with different problems, and we all have our ways on how to solve it. Sometimes, we tend to have a step-by-step-by-step -by -step -by -step way to have it solved. Same with science. Scientists have a rational order of steps to understand the world around them. During your previous years in science, I know that you are familiar with the word question, hypothesis, experiment, and conclusion. You may have memorized that as some of the steps of what we call scientific method. According to the definition, scientific method is a series of organized steps that one can use to answer a question or solve a problem. It helps us to organize thoughts and procedures so that we can be confident in the answer we find. However, over the years, steps involved in scientific method varies among scientists. But no matter how much it changes in other way around, it is very important that you understand the six key steps to characterize the scientific method. The first step of scientific method is what we call the question or the problem. Before performing an experiment, you should have a definite purpose of why you are going to do such activity. And this question will lead to your hypothesis or the possible answer to your question. It should be started in a sentence with maybe, perhaps, or I think or it looks more likely as predictions. Then the next step is the data collection. All the things needed to perform an experiment should be prepared. Preparing them before the experiment will enable you to make an orderly and systematized experiment. Then, after preparing everything, it's time to perform an experiment. This is intended to test your hypothesis. If the result of the experiment agrees with the hypothesis, then it is advisable to have more testing. But, if the experiment result does not agree with the predicted, then the hypothesis must be changed. Once the experiment is done, the scientist must begin with his analysis. Scientists documented the results with detailed measurement, descriptions, and observation in the form of notes, tables, charts and graphs. Then, you sum up your findings with a conclusion. It is a statement or decision reached by reasoning after you finish the process. The scientific method usually employs all six of methods I mentioned, but they don't always occur in the same order. Real scientists usually go back and repeat many times before they come up with a conclusion. For me to check if you understand the lesson, let's have a recap by answering the exercise. 1. I want you to write down the scientific method that you remember. Pause this video and play it again once you're done answering. You may start now. Let us check if you got it right. There are 6 key steps of scientific method that we discussed today. Questions, Hypothesis, Data Collection, Experiment, Analysis, and Conclusions. Those are the key steps of scientific method. If you remember them all, then you are very good. Exercise 1 is 6 points, and now let's proceed with the next exercise. Let's now have your exercise 2. This is also 6 points. This time, I want you to identify the steps of scientific method stated in the following. So since this is also 6 numbers, so this will be 6 points and we have the same rule. You have to pause again this video and start answering. Good luck! Let us now check your answer in your exercise 2. Number 1. Materials needed 
2 tablespoons of salt, 2 tablespoons of sugar, 2 500 ml beaker, 2 identical stirrers, and 2 250 ml water. So, since you are already giving all the materials needed or you are already collecting data, then the answer would be data collection. Next, number 2. Maybe the sugar in water is higher than the solubility of salt. That can be a possible answer to your question. So the answer would be hypothesis. Next, number 3. Pour 250 ml of water into the 500 ml beaker of salt mixture and other 250 ml for sugar mixture. Add 2 tablespoons of salt into the first beaker and 2 tablespoons of sugar into the second beaker at the same time. Stir the mixture is at the same time and at the same rate for one minute. So obviously, since you are performing an experiment, then the answer would be experiment because of the given procedure. Next, number four, observe the mixtures, record your observation. So you are already analyzing, the answer would be analysis. Next, number five, sugar is more soluble in water than salt. Definitely that is a conclusion. Next, number six is, which is more soluble, sugar or salt? Obviously, this is a question. So, if you got it all correct, then you have your six points for a total of 12 points from the first activity that we have. Thank you very much for being with me today. I hope you learned a lot. But before we part ways, let me leave you a saying from Robert M. Piercy. The real purpose of the scientific method is to make sure nature hasn't misled you into thinking you know something you don't actually know. See you again next time and God bless us all.